Onze eerste internationale trip voert ons naar België, waar wij enkele nieuwe titels van Sony's Wonderboek mogen aanschouwen. Let's discuss one book. Is it foremost a book for gamers or a game for readers? Uh, one book is not a. I think it's a book that allows you to have 1001 experience. So for now, what we have is one book, book as well, that is more oriented toward uh, 7 to 12 years old. So it depends on the experience you want to share, but right now, with what we want to present to the, to the audience, uh, it's more oriented with. Book of Spell at least towards 7 to 11. Okay. You say Wonderbook is foremost a game for, or, or a product for uh, children in the age of 7 to 12. Uh, did you think about the, the core gamers, which is mainly our audience, and uh, are there any products be released for that kind of audience? Uh, right now we haven't anything announced uh, for this kind of audience. What we have announced is one of the book, Book of Spell, um, Walking with Dinosaurs and the Dick's Night Crawler. They're all oriented toward the family and they it's not a restriction. At the same time you can be involved into the game. For example, if you look at Dick's Night Crawler, it's got a very attractive story. It's a bit like a, I would say, a Pixar movie, when uh, you can appreciate it when you're seven years old, and you can still see all the big reference behind that when you're much older. So I think it's an experience you can share with all the family. Because there, there were there were three titles you called, uh, uh, Walking with Dinosaurs, Book of Spells, and Dick's Night Crawler. What are the biggest difference be between those three titles? I think they all have different experiences. They don't share the same uh, gameplay elements. They don't share the same, same objective. For example, if you take Walking with Dinosaurs, it's more like an educational product where you learn about dinosaurs, the way they used to live in the past, these kind of things. While a Wonder Book, Book of Spell, allows you to, to be a, a wizard in Hogwarts. So each, it's, it's a bit like comparing a movie like from different gender. It's, doesn't really matter. Oh, it's like three different books, in fact. Okay, but you still have with every game you have the object of the book. Um, a book seems very limited. It, it has a, a, a strict amount of pages. Uh, um, yeah, there are certain limitations by using a book. And how do you handle those limitations? Well, we work per chapter, so we got uh, 12 pages uh, in the book. So every time you turn the page, you get something different. But it doesn't restrict you to only 12, uh, uh, 12 pages, because you can restart with a... Uh, we got a very clever menu. So when you close the book in Book of Spell, you can uh, go to a different chapter uh, by interacting with the cover. So it gives you... Um, 12 pages, um, multiply that by 2, 24 pages, multiply that by 5 or 5 chapters, because every chapter is, divi is divided in two parts, so we get roughly more than 100 pages of content. Okay. Was Book of Spells chosen as the ultimate launch title? I, th I think it's pretty... It's a very, very strong uh, title to start with because we are working with one of the best and most famous authors in the world right now. And just the fact that she's well known, that everybody, well, lots of people love their work. I think that's a very, very good point for us to start. And what's better to, to become a, a wizard, I think. It's very, very nice. And how much was she involved by creating the title? Well, at first we were not expecting her to be that involved. We were expecting to work with the license and stuff. So, but she wanted by herself. She, she just came and said to us, "I would love to be involved in creating content for you." So basically, there's lots of the um, the writing that has been done exclusively by her, and all the spells, descriptions, kind of things. That was something she wanted to do for with us. Uh, she wanted. To, she really wanted to work with us, and we were very surprised that she wanted to be that involved into the project. What if a book could come to life? Hey, how are ya? Whoa, Beanstalk! Uh, 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 a little help? 
and I could play with the stories. See you later. What if I could explore different worlds oh. and change the stories? Gotcha.